Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode, we're going to be talking about a piece from the digital illustrator Amir Zand. In this episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about this grand scale. We're going to talk about the prismatic order, and we're also going to talk about the knowledge gifted by the exploratory lone hero. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this piece, you know, you're met with this grand sense of scale here. You'll see how this small subject is dwarfed by the scene of this large prism and just this greater void of the work at hand. This scale really introduces us to the divinity of the scene, and it really brings you in with absolute ease. And so we see what appears to be a small subject this kind of hovering orb, just standing in absolute awe and mesmerization at this large uh, main subject as the prism here. And so we see our subject, its its form is accented through this kind of light on dark contrast here. And it's almost two different ones, um, kind of a darker on light contrast here in the upper region, and then a very definitive light on dark contrast there in the bottom region. There's even multiple levels of contrast as well. Of course, you see this kind of light on dark contrast in the background, as well as those multiple layers going up as well. Those really work to accent the form and, of course, draw your attention to the highest degree possible. And so we see also a sense of minimalism within the work at hand. And what I mean by that is, you know, you see this endless kind of dark void here. There's almost no kind of objects or anything on the ground other than, say, the... the Seems like a wooden tile, though it's hard to say for sure. There is this kind of textural grooves there. But there is this massive spotlight created by this oculus there in the high region. But all of that, you know, that minimalism really maximizes the impact of the elements within the, within the spatial composition. Of course, that uses negative space to a very, very, very effective degree. Draws your attention. Of course, it's almost inescapable. That energy is just right there. It calls your attention. It commands your attention. And it captures that and keeps it in its grasp. And so we see a lone hero here. Like I said, we have a small subject staring at this large prism here. And I see some themes of the lone hero within the work at hand. The lone hero is the one who goes into the unknown and comes back with some type of knowledge or some type of goal or gift or key. And so what I see here easily is this lone hero going out into the unknown or even the dangerous void to discover the large prism or to discover what they're looking at here. And so with that in mind, you know, we do see this kind of candid act of discovery it feels like he's kind of coming along this for the first time ever, although it's hard to say for sure exactly what's going on here. And so with that in mind, you know, we see this large prism. Of course, it's just inescapable, and it's kind of this kind of a, a monolith or a monument here in the center region. And the prism is quite interesting. Normally, whenever we see some type of large rock or large solid obelisk or large solid prism, that's normally seen as order. And order is normally defined against chaos or knowledge against ignorance or anything like that. So, you know, with that in mind, we're seeing, at least in my interpretation, we see a small subject in the act of discovery. But the act of discovery is this large, solid prism that could represent a sense of order. So with that in mind, you know, what does that metaphor mean? What does it mean for a lone hero to go out into the dangerous unknown and then to come back with a sense of order? Uh, what I see there is a sense of habit or ritual or culture or anything that can kind of be brought back and give everyone a sense of stability. You know, especially with culture and tradition, we live each day almost into the unknown. And with things like habits and tradition and just ritual in general, it really allows us to have a sense of familiarity and to keep our feet planted on the ground in a sense of order, especially in this kind of chaotic and unknown of the day-to-day -day life. And so... That's really what I see here. I see the lone hero going off and exploring a sense of order or exploring a sense of ritual, maybe even rediscovering that and then bringing it back to the greater tribe to bring them some value. So that's really what I see here. I'm curious what you guys see whenever you look at this work. Of course, a very minimal piece, very, very uh, influential and a very impactful one at that. Absolute ease and it's just a, an incredibly, incredibly stunning work here.
So I went and... So I went ahead and grabbed one of his other works here that we've actually showcased. The one on the left is going to be Healing Soul coming from the artist Demir Zand. And of course, just whenever you first see this, you're likely going to see the similarity. Of course, a large obelisk that is kind of a solid stone structure. And then the lone hero with, say, a hovering orb there to a... And so that's really the big themes that we see here. Going out into the unknown, of course, you have your hero there. And then, of course, that inescapable sense of that large obelisk or that solid structure really commands the attention. And it's really inescapable in its final uh, visual impact. And so you definitely see the similarities within here. Hard to say why Amir Zan likes these prisms so much. It's really interesting. I see that across almost all of his pieces, and it really comes to kind of define his stylistic identity. If you see one of these large obelisks, you can almost always guess that it's going to be Amir Zan. And so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we talked about this piece quite a bit. We talked a little bit about minimalism. We talked about the exploration of the lone hero. We talked about a sense of order in this obelisk, and of course also contrast everything in between. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you guys like this piece, go check out Amir Zen's other work. He's doing a lot of really good stuff, and he really deserves all the impact that he's getting. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.